Hello guys, in this video I'm going to talk about a very useful Python library called Pickle. So Pickle is an inbuilt Python library and it is basically used for serializing and deserializing Python objects. So you must be wondering that what is serialization, right? So serialization means that you are given a data, a structured data and you want to convert into such a format so that at some later stage you are able to restore that structured data from a file right so it is just like a way of storing some um, a python object in a file and when you um, use that object in another file then it runs the same way right so this is basically the serialization process so pickle is a library which makes this process um, very easy for you right so let's see how we can use pickle library let's get started so I am going to create a simple um, I'm going to create a simple um, dictionary like it is it can store anything right I'm just storing different kind of things I'm making a tuple as a key even um, right so I just made a simple dictionary um, called data and now what I want is that I want to store this structured data into some file so that I can use that file or you can say that structured data um, in some other Python program right so what I will do is that I will just import the pickle library like import pickle and now what I do is that I just use the pickle uh, I just um, open a file object so what I do is, is that with open just giving the name of a file so for pickle files you can give different kind of extensions you can use um, p or pkl or pickle the complete word so what I'm going to use simply test.pkl right and I'm going to open the file in write binary mode because I have to write it into the um, file right so what pickle does is that it stores the data in binary mode right so I have just opened the file object in binary mode so what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to use pickle.dump function. So by dumping, I mean to say that given a data structure, dump, in, dump it into this file called test.pkl. So just giving the name of that structured data and the file object. These are the two arguments which we need. And then just running it, right? So this is how um, my data has been saved, right? So now let's say, uh, let me delete my data right so I've just deleted this data structure so now if I just try to type data look at that it gives me a name error because data has been deleted so now what I want to do is that I want to um, get back that data restore that data so what I can do is that I can use pkl again pickle again so I will just open um, my test.pkl file in binary mode for reading as f so file name object file object name is f so what i will do is that data is equal to pickle dot load so i'm just going to load that data back and just passing the file object so that will do the job for me so let me just write data and look at that i got the data back again right so this is how um, serialization and deserialization works in pickle right so you must be uh, if you have uh, if you know about JSON um, then you must be wondering that the same task is done by JSON as well then why should I use pickle right okay so JSON is basically a Python library for serialization and deserialization of JSON like objects JSON like objects are just uh, in Python JSON like objects are these dictionary or tuples or the list so you can store them right but the python objects like class objects or the numpy arrays in those uh, those kind of python objects can't be stored in using json right so for that case we need pickle right so let me show you a practical example um, where you will have to use pickle right so let me just create a class called fruit in which i am going to give a constructor function um, okay so I expect the user to give me the name of the fruit 
so what I do is that I create a I create an attribute called name and it just pass the name pass to me and then if name is banana then what I do is that I just give the color as yellow else else self dot self dot color is equal to unknown right so this is a simple um, Python class definition and now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a fruit object for me my fruit is equal to fruit and just passing the name of a fruit banana and just I've just created a Python object a fruit object right so now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to dump it and this time I'm going to write a one-liner so you may find it helpful because you will like to write as least lines as possible so pickle dot dump and what I do is just put that data and and the file object is just using the open statement right here test dot pk let's say again and the mode is binary write right so I have just dumped the fruit object into a file so now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to delete my fruit from my Python program so now if I just try to see if there is something called my fruit so no it's a name error right so now what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to load my fruit object like this my fruit is equal to pickle dot load and that I will have to pass the file object which is test dot pkl and this time I have to open it in read binary mode and look at that it works my fruit and yes look at that it just restored its definition right it just restored its definition and if I just try to see my fruit dot name I will get the name it was banana right and the color it was yellow right so as you can see that pickle is very useful for um, serialization of the Python real Python objects in that case um, it's really handy and just one more thing um, which I which I will use uh, which I will uh, which I want to tell you before concluding this video is that pickle uses um, different kind of protocols for you can say pickling or serializing your data so there are different kind of versions so this is the official documentation for pickle so it is protocol version 0 then it is protocol version 1 so these are the different versions um, and they have different definitions for serializing the data and currently protocol version 4 is the most um, you can say efficient one right so protocol version 3 is the default one I think right so what you can do is that while you are dumping you can just specify um, the protocol that you want to use so I am just going to type highest protocol pickle dot highest protocol and okay so protocol right so it was a keyword argument so protocol is equal to pickle dot highest protocol so what this will do is that um, it adds support for very large objects and pickling more kind of objects so it is just an enhancement right so you can usually um, for dealing with large amount of data you can use this protocol called pickle dot highest protocol right so you can read more about it here um, in the python documentations so that's it that i wanted to tell you about pickle and i hope you liked it so that's it from this video thanks for watching